Hey YouTube, it's Go Teams BSG here. Today marks my seven week post surgery date. Um, so I'm just gonna run down the numbers and then I think I have a pretty fun video plan for you. I started my pre-op diet April 10th at 290 pounds. Day of surgery, April 24th, I weighed 280.1. Today I weighed in this morning at 255 even. So in nine weeks, including the two week pre-op, I have lost 35 pounds today. Um, so as you saw in my video, if you had the time to spend 45 minutes, I think it was what it ended up being last week, I did a co-video with my girlfriend, Fly Girl VSG, AKA the Luscious Lindsay, and we had super duper fun. What you didn't see is before that video, we'd actually done a clothing haul for me where she gave me some items. Um, I'm not going to show you those now. We kind of did it when, when I was trying them on. It didn't turn out well, so we didn't post it. Um, but I want to talk today a little bit about making the most of your wardrobe as you, and this is the term I'm going to use, as you under shrink, under shrink your wardrobe. As you lose weight and things become too big, what can you do to maximize the usage out of the clothing that you already have? Um, I feel like in the past I have mentioned that I think that I'm pretty fashionable. I don't think that you probably believe me because on approximately half the videos, I um, wear plain white t-shirts, undershirts, wife beaters, whatever you want to call them. But in fact, that is not what I wear on a daily basis. Uh, I work in an office, a professional office, and so I typically dress fairly nicely three to four days a week. I'm wearing a dress or a skirt, and then the other time I'm wearing jeans and a cute top and accessories. I love me with some accessories. Um, so I'm just going to show you today what I'm wearing, and then I'm going to give you a tour of my closet. I've mentioned in the past that I'm a clothes horse, horse um, so I want you to see what I have. And then I'm going to share with you some ideas about how you can maximize your wardrobe for the longest. So first things first, I'm going to point this down and go back and just kind of show you a flavor of what I'm wearing today, which is much more indicative of my style than the wife beaters. Ooh, boobies. Woo. So yeah, this is, this is me today. I'm wearing uh, a skirt that actually I got some time ago. I ordered it online. It didn't fit when I got it. Um, so now it does. I'm wearing a black t-shirt belt to accentuate the smallest part of me. Thank you, Stacey and Clinton from What Not To Wear for giving me those details, some flip-flops. As you can see, I have my three co-stars this evening. This is Roadside, Frankie, and Pandora, my pugs. I'll give you a close-up of them. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of more typical of what I wear. Earrings, necklace, bracelets. Um, I don't always go with all three, especially if I'm wearing like a statement necklace or statement earrings, then I'll um, scale back. So next, um, so I'm coming to you, this is my bedroom, um, ooh, where the magic happens. Um, so first, on the way to the closet, I'm going to introduce you to my puggles. This is Pandora, oh she's so cute. <clears throat> And the, the, oh, Frankie, don't be shy. That's Frankie. And this fat one here, that's Roadside. He's my pugger pillar. Okay, so now I'm taking you into my closet. I'm gonna just give you a little uh, tour of my closet. I'm sorry if I'm making you kind of sick. I have a huge closet. I love it. I'm a little OCD. Not diagnosed, self-diagnosed, but you'll see what I mean. So, here is my closet. When I take clothes off the hangers, I put the hangers to the side. Here I have my dress section. As you can see, I probably, I don't know, like 20, 30 dresses. Um, it's going to be hard to make sure I'm getting stuff. Um, shirts. You know, more shirts. There's some of Estes. Estes gets Estes gets this much closet space. That much closet space. So 
lots of clothes um, as you can see behind me one shelf of shoes got a lot of boots in case you didn't get the memo I'm from Oregon it's cold in Oregon sometimes I used to work out in the field as a um, ecologist more more shoes I again apologize if it's making you sick um, <clears throat> more shoes shoes in here brassiers in there all all scarves again from Oregon cold weather so oh last bit accessories you can see my necklaces down on my thing for organization I put my earrings in a fishing tackle box it works really well more smaller earrings in here um, and that's just the closet um, I've got count them one two three dressers so as you can see <laughs> I have a really rather large investment of money in my clothes I have a bit of a love affair going on with my clothes as well uh, I am someone who I've never really as I've gotten up in size kept many clothes typically I've lived in smaller homes older homes that have less storage when I was in Portland for example I had a really small 900 square foot house so I had a rule that if I went shopping and got five pieces I had to clear five pieces from my closet uh, here in Phoenix my house is really big and so I haven't been as good about purging my stuff so I probably have easily 30 pairs of jeans maybe 40 <clears throat> not all of whom fit me at this time I don't know maybe they do I would say they range anywhere in size from an 18 to a 24 so that's really my first tip as far as making your current wardrobe work for you is to go through your closet and harvest your closet first of all what's in there that hasn't fit you um, but it's maybe a little bit small and that you can maybe wear out into the future as I stated earlier the skirt I'm wearing today I ordered it online got it in the size I thought I needed it was too small um, so today is the first day I've actually worn it and I probably got it well over a year ago yesterday I wore a really cute um, dress that's pencil skirt on bottom black with purple polka dots ruffles in front buttons super cute first time I've worn it I bought it when I came to Phoenix on my house hunting trip in August 2012 uh, it fit I could get into it that's for sure however the way the pencil skirt hugged my fat roll in the front I didn't love it so I wasn't really eager to wear it most of my dresses that I have are fit and flare so they fit tighter up here flare away from the bottom um, so I've been able to wear those so first of all harvest your closet second um, let's see one thing that I've really been big on doing let's see if I can walk and look at you and not watch where I'm going and not fall um, so as you can see speaking of harvesting your closet <clears throat> from like let's see here over to the SD section which you see is very small are items that really haven't fit me very well in the past so um, as I under shrink my current clothes and go down in size I will be hopefully moving into wearing some of those <sighs> let's see I don't know how to pause this I don't even know if I can pause I think I can just um, so let me gather bear with me here let me gather a couple shirts <clears throat> another tip on making your clothes last for you to work as long as you can is belting so I have a couple shirts this one this one 
And honestly, they've gotten to be quite a bit too big for me. But I think I can slip one on over my existing outfit and show you a really easy way to improve the longevity, pardon me, of your clothes. And that is belting it. I just took off the belt I'm wearing today. Typically I would do this with one of my skinny belts that has come um, so yeah that's like big on me it's pretty big you can see like so just as an illustration again boobies Woo! so yeah it's like it's big on me but through the magic of belting if I can get the belt on the right way. Please stand by. I'm having some technical difficulties with my boot. So you throw a belt on, maybe move it down a little bit towards the natural raised. Totes does not match the skirt. But there you go, like, so a shirt that was just like hanging on me. Now it looks a little bit intentional. Like it's blousy, it's loose. It looks, and this again is over what I'm already wearing. So yeah, belting is like a really great tip. Um, <clears throat> and it doesn't have to be found, like this belt is just a black belt that um, came with that black polka dot dress that I've utilized today. Someone is in the yard. Frankie's, what? That's just a shirt dingling. Frankie's uh, barking at my other shirt that's hanging. Hey, just a second. Get out. Everybody out. Get, get. I'm back. Watch out, world. I've released the hounds. So belting is a really good option. Man, I'm sorry, like this video is not for you. I would like to see um, Bobby BSG or Ryan's Journey belt some of their shirts so that they fit. That'd be pretty hilarious actually. Um, another thing you can do um, to maximize clothing, the longevity of it, uh, harvest your harvest your own wardrobe go through there um, a really great option is if you have girlfriends that are smaller than you but maybe you're also plus size get together and have a clothing exchange in Portland these are typically called naked lady parties um, and I think it's because when you have them everybody brings clothing to the party and to one location and donates it to the cause and then Everybody who's at the party picks through it, gets naked, trying stuff on. I think that's where the naked ladies come in. I don't know. Portland just has a weird fascination with being naked. They actually have a naked bike ride once every year. Anyway, um, so that's not even really utilizing your own clothes except for using them as barter. Um, basically, you're trading with your friends. Along those lines, if there's anybody in the Phoenix metropolitan area, that's Phoenix, Arizona, not Phoenix, Oregon, um, who would like to join me for clothing exchanges. That'd be awesome. I actually don't have many friends here in Phoenix. It's been difficult to meet people, but I would be super up for it. And I've got a ton of clothes, a ton of accessories. Um, I know that there was more that I wanted to talk about today. Estee's family's coming over tonight to go swimming, which will be great. Love spending time with his family. Um, I will try to come up with some more tips and maybe even post them in the comments below. Maybe not tonight, maybe not tomorrow, but soon. Yeah, that's it. I super duper had fun. I want to give a shout out to my girlfriend, Fly Girl VSG. Um, oh my God, I had so much fun doing those videos. I feel a little bit exposed though. Because here's the thing, I feel like I've tried to keep my shit together, like be composed and be a little bit more polished and out the window with those 
<laughs> videos. Um, the hormonal roller coaster, talking about things that are emotionally sensitive to me, talking about how great my mom was as far as always delivering the message that I was good enough, smart enough, pretty enough, I could do anything. Getting choked up. I mean, that's embarrassing. I, I, to me, crying is a weakness, and I know we all do it. it for, it's a great stress relief. I don't like doing it in front of people, so I apologize for that. Um, but more than that, I think that you probably got a really good taste of how nutty and goofy I really am. So that's me. That's that's really more, I think, my personality. I think Lynn's would attest to that. Also, I want to give some shout-outs to some of the folks um, that made comments. Uh, Less of Sarah and uh, Sarah in o Nerd in Oregon. Oh, I guess it was just Sarah Nerd in Oregon. Anyway, awesome comments. Michelle, um, thank you for the comments. I too wish that I would have been in Portland to go roller skating with you all. I have to say, I am very envious of the Northwest weight loss community. Um, I haven't found that sense of community here. I haven't gone looking for it, honestly. So it's a two-way street. They haven't found me, I haven't found them. So again, along the lines, if you um, are in the Portland metro area and you're looking for somebody who understands where you are physically, looking for somebody to be active with, or just even do clothing exchanges, hang out, um, whatever. I'm up, like, I'm totally looking for new friends. I feel like a prostitute, like, hey baby, call me for a good time. Anyway, that is all I have for today. <sighs> I have one small confession to make, and that is today I cheated a little. To Thursdays are kind of mine and Estee's little bit of a cheat day. Um, so today I was at Starbucks. And they had Rice Krispie treats that looked amazing. Starbucks has the decency to post how many calories are in their baked goods and snacks. Their one Rice Krispie treat was 240 calories. I didn't think that was bad compared to some of the other options. So I had the people cut into fourths um, and it got like maybe a one inch by two inch piece. Like it was, it was pretty small. And I thought, is that going to be big enough to satisfy this intense need for sugar I have at this particular moment? And do I give myself permission? Yes, I gave myself permission. One quarter of 240, as you know, is only 60 calories. So I literally took the piece I wanted and turned to the kids who are probably in their teens behind me and said, hey, look, three quarters of a Rice Krispie treat, yours if you want it, and gave it to them. So it worked beautifully. I do not feel bad about it. I have been predominantly, vast majority of the time, good. I'm sticking to um, what I should be doing. I've added exercise in. This week I've been crazy for the exercise, like way who am I and what have I done with the lazy Tessa who would sit on the couch and actually do 12 ounce curls? Oh, by the way, my real name's Tessa. I don't, I've never mentioned that. I think Lynn's mentioned my real name. Anyway, so yeah, I'm super um, happy that I made a conscious choice that I would allow myself a 60 calorie sweet snack. It was not the best choice. It is not a choice that I plan to make daily. It's, um, you know, one day out of you know, I think it was four weeks ago, three weeks ago, four weeks ago now that I cheated and ate that mini Cinnabon. So I'm doing awesome. <sighs> okay, for reals, this is all I have tonight. So until next time, go teams. Have a great night.